Hello and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolve with me, DX Phoenix, and I'm here at our base and we're about to hopefully be getting into what will be where we left off in the last Ark video with trying to get an airship built and ready. Now for those of you thinking, why would you need an airship when you've got all these flyers and also we know you also have a Quetzal, which you could use to fly around. It's like, I do. Problem with the Quetzal though. Mm. Well, it doesn't have the travel speed. I don't know the travel speed of the airship, so we're going to find out. And also, it's something fun and new to play around with. So, let's actually get into that. Let's play around with the airship after I've got it built. And go have some fun. Catch you guys in just a moment. Right then, so um, what we actually have is... I've set down a couple of chests so I could move stuff around a little bit. I actually have the majority of what we need right here. I've got the air, airship propellers, I've got all the um, walling, flooring, <laughs> ceilings, and hopefully some other bits to actually get the at least some more parts of the airship built. I'm coming over here, I do not know why I need to come to this guy. Because I'm actually going to need this oil. I've also been fairly busy with breeding recently. I've just been having arc in the background, just running stuff. Doing some breedings. Just having, just trying to focus on bits and also get all this. This actually took quite a bit of time. So, what I'm going to do, wrong thing, just going to click on that, I'm going to bring it with me. So I still have this here. 22 items, and there we go, and I come over into airship. We have the propellers, that's great, we have those. Still need some cementing paste to finish this off, that's what I needed. The one thing I still didn't have enough of was the cementing paste. But I think I pretty much have everything else. Airship engines. Yep. So I'm just going to run back in here, grab the few more bits that I think we're going to need. No, I'm not. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring us back when I'm a little bit close because I need to get some cementing paste and I don't have that so I'm going to need to make a trip up to some beaver dams and grab some more so catch you guys back in just a moment all right then ladies and gentlemen so we're back I've actually started some crafting up it's the last engine hopefully all right come here let's get the main well let's get the hull made I don't actually need any more Airship crews, I think that's enough, and we have enough for the airship. That is going to take us a little while to craft. So, while that is crafting, as you can see, I hit up tons of um, beaver dams. Went on a nice little run round. But let's just hop back in here because I want to grab my RG. I'll grab my snow owl. One thing I am going to keep an eye on, or we'll just have a look for, is how much oil do I have? Oh, 450, I've got none more in there. This is pretty much set so I can make more refined oil. Because I need refined oil to make the oil barrels. Because oil barrels are what is required to actually power the airship. And let's just have a look, see how far we are in the crafting. Oh, moved on quite a bit. I feel I need a little bit of drink. Scuzzle down some water. That's going to take us a little bit. Did I over?
I think I might have overcrafted some bits. What a surprise. Almost done, almost done. Just crafted. It is heavy! We're gonna go over to that rock. Because it does say we need to be in a wide open space for this. So, we're gonna come over here and put it down. This rock has changed. Wait. Where do you think you're going? Thank you. One airship. My god, is that thing huge? Let's have a look at this. Wow. This is massive. <laughs> What's that on the front? <laughs> oh, I wish I could change that. Wow. This is huge, got another one on the back. Okay, this looks cool. Just gonna leave you on there. This is the way down. Cool. Right then, so I'm just gonna pod up the owl. I look down at it. You got so A is strafe left, uh, strafe right. O is toggle on and off, Q is autopilot. F is inventory, left mouse button ascends and descends. So we pop that in. Right, so his armor is that. Toggle on. Send enabled. If I do that, will you just go straight up? Ooh it's not massively quick, but if I just do that. That looks quite nice. That allows you to strafe that way as well. It's still going up. Well. If I do that, you should be able to turn. Right then, it's not the quickest of things, but I'm 
Let's enable the sound enabled. So let's turn your background and head back. Now, I'm not sure which is faster, this or a Quetzal. However, at the moment, I can honestly say, in terms of carrying things, this thing will have far more ability, even with a, even with the platform saddle for the Quetzal. The Quetzal fits on this. Let's see how far down this thing will go. Where if I stop that, it just stops and hovers. That is amazing. There is everything. Just coming back into view. Well, yeah, that's actually. Right, it goes up and down rather quick, so that's good. So if I do that, I'll bring it back up. Nice. So it comes up and down quick. That's good. So that will let it come down. So if I come back up. Okay, if I just turn that off. Where am I? All these button switches and dials. So, we can have like personal storage or like captain's quarters. Got steps coming down, I've got fuel. This whole thing. Wow. I can see everything. Alright then. Well, this is the airship. Ugh. I do not want to fall any further down. Now I'm down here, I don't even know if I can get back. <laughs> uh. Wow. So, for any amazing builders out there, you can build something, dock this thing next to it, and then you can just get on and off. Further than that, you like me, and... Your flying ability is not that great, and you're only really good when you're on the RG Snow Owl or Griffin, like myself. And I used him good loosely when I speak about myself. But, yeah. So if you need to transport all these dinos, and I mean all of them, it's like all these, even the ones I have in my cryo fridge, because I'm finally able to have one of those. Yeah, so let's even have a look at this. So you can't do this, you can't store all of these. There you go. That's how you can transport them all. That. Gotta admit, that just looks amazing just looking at it from there. I am I am truly impressed by that. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry about the sudden jump cut, but uh got a phone call and I've had a slight distraction and we're actually quite a bit further ahead in natural real life time scale than natural game one. Even though we still are. But I'm currently making my way with the airship to what will be my little holiday retreat island here on Ragnarok. And 
just getting used to the controls of the airship pretty much and I can honestly say that if I just come out of K mode you can actually hold down shift and it goes a little bit quicker you can remove it and you'll notice if I just go back into K mode that it's still moving because it does have an autopilot feature yay hit Q toggle autopilot on and off you can use W a, yes, indeed. Control where it moves. Strafing is the A and D, as you've got the tooltip on here, which is fantastic. Also, O just turns off the engine and keeps it going. You can, however, because I have noticed with this, if the thing is in low health, you, if you just toggle it on and off a few times, it starts to regain some health. Or you toggle it off, leave it a bit, put it back on, it regains health. That's a little tip from somewhere else I've read online about this probably the actual steampunk mod wiki page go check that out I'll try and put a description down below in the description for you guys to have a look and just get some more information on it but yeah this traveling this should be a lot better and be able to transport some creatures even though it's pretty much as I'd say as fast as the Quetzal but can transport more creatures and if you don't have cryo parts yeah great alternative but I'm just enjoying it I'm gonna bring us back once I'm actually gotten to that island versus quite far away and it's gonna take us a little bit to get there on here this is nowhere near as fast as my eye will I will admit so catch you guys in just a moment right then ladies and gentlemen this is actually where this video is going to come to an end because the island over there that one so you can just see and it's very pixelated that is where we are going to go so that's where I'm gonna to begin to make my way Can zoom in anymore? Can't even see myself. No. I'm gonna make my way over to there now. Oh, I wanted a nice close up on my character. Never mind. But it's time to make my way over to that island where I was setting up my little holiday home. Probably with the airship. <laughs> Just about. I want to go there. There we go. As I begin to make my way towards it. Would you call this an archipelago? Several small islands. You can see you've got the um, swamp part over there. Desert come back here. Another bit of wagon cave over there. But here we are, getting closer. Now as some of the landmarks begin to load in. You can see it's mostly creatures. There we go. What I shall do spin this airship around. And hover it in place there. This will be the island I will be setting up on here. Yeah. See, we've got some tech creatures. Something inside it wants to pay us a visit up here. That is where we are going to go, down there. Interesting bug. Well, 
Well, everyone, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you have, please hit like, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next time on Arc, where hopefully we will have gotten a few more things sorted and ready. Take care, and see you guys next time. Bye.